With a river running through the city, there are many chances to see water birds in Cambridge. The species may be common, but they're still a joy to watch. And if you're really lucky, you could even spot a kingfisher. It's a long way off, but I promise there's one there you might be able to spot its orange chest in the middle of the tree. Mallards are widespread and common on the camp. The male mallard has a glossy green head and grey body, whereas the female is brown and speckled. Mallards are dabbling ducks, moving their flat beaks across the surface of the water to feed. They will also occasionally upend, feeding upside down with their bottoms in the air, as demonstrated by this swan. Can you see the moorhen with this group of mallards? The moorhen looks mostly black but has a colourful red beak and bright green legs. Take a close look at their feet and they're not webbed like a duck's, but have long toes to distribute their weight, keeping them from sinking when they walk through marshes. If you want grandeur and grace, look no further than a mute swan. Here is a pair of adults with their snowy white feathers and orange beaks. And a pair of cygnets or young swans. They are about the same size as the adults now and their grey-brown feathers will gradually be replaced by white ones. Spot the snake-like head above the water? This is a cormorant, a water bird with a long hook-tipped bill for catching fish. Unlike ducks and swans, the plumage of a cormorant is not waterproof. This means that they can dive to greater depths as the feathers aren't trapping air beneath them, but it also means they have to take care drying them out. Near the Museum of Technology, you can be treated to the sight of cormorants perched in the trees. No tour of the water birds of Cambridge would be complete without the heron. These large birds can often be mistaken for statues, standing still at the water's edge waiting for a fish to come along to eat. Here's a heron by Trinity College, and another in the Botanic Garden. Herons are fantastic at fishing, and impressive in flight, their large wings beating slowly and long legs trailing behind. <laughs>